Hey everybody, Nathan, Samson. here with Samson Farms, and today i am got to work on the incubator, so stick with me and I'll show you an easy upgrade for your old incubators. That's right, I'm going to take my old Sportsman 1202. GQS incubator and I'm going to digitize it and I've looked for a lot of how to's on how to do this and I haven't really found any so I figured I'd put one out there as we update it I've done just a little bit of work to it already but I'm going to take out the primary wafer and replace it with a digital thermostat to improve the efficiency and to make it last many many more years uh, the wafer went out, quit working on me. So, got a $15 thermostat. I'm going to replace it with that. So, stick with us and I'll show you what we're working on. I've already took the screws out of the top so we can get in here. Into the top of the incubator. Now, this was mounted here and it had a wafer like this coming through it. And as this wafer heats up, it expands and contracts. And uh, that's how it works. And then there's a switch in here that would turn off the heating element and turn it on and off. So I've got to run these two wires into the heating load which on this one is number five and six and I made sure I got the 110 version so I didn't have to get a 12 volt adapter to have another plug in plugged in so I'm going to run these wires here and here and then these wires, I'm going to run back here to where the power cord is. Back here to where the power cord comes into it at. And that way when this machine's plugged in, the thermostat comes on. So it's going to be tricky to do some of this and film at the same time. So let me get some of it done. And I'll be right back with you. Alright, what we've done here, since we want to mount our box here, I drilled a couple of holes through the lid so we can pass our wires through. And eventually I'll build a little box or something for this to sit in, but for right now I'm just going to set it on top. And then pass the wires through here, and it's got a little cover that comes in here and kind of seals it up. But, uh, yeah. So far, I've done that. And I have got my wires to the old thermostat that will run up through the lid also. And now I need to drill a hole in my partition wall here to get my power wires back to the power supply.
now I'm going to get this wired up and I'll be right back with you. Alright, I got the power wire to the thermostat wired in. I've got it running through the wall. Got my excess run over here so we can run these wires up through the lid and then hook it up to the thermostat and then give it a test run. Got it all wired up. We have the temperature probe routed to a good spot in the back about halfway up and down. And now we're about to turn it on and see if it works or if it blows up. Either way, it's going to be cool. and it's running so let me look how to do some adjustments on that okay so we've set the thermostat we've got it to heating we had to adjust some of the, the, the settings in it and it is heating the unit and what we're waiting to do is see when it kicks off and we have an indicator lamp on the side that shows us when it is heating and I've gone in and changed the settings. I've set this to 99 degrees with a temp temperature variance of 1 degree. So it should go up to 100. It should go between 98 and 100 and maintain a relative temperature in here. That's about as best as you can do. Uh, but other than that, I'm so far I'm pleased. I might be able to actually set it to 99 and a half. No, nope, it only works in solid degrees. So we'll see when it kicks off here in one second and see how it does. But so far, everything's working out great, and I'm really thrilled. This should uh, improve the, the hatch rates and everything. And I actually have a bowl full of eggs that need to go in here. Alright, so as you can see, took out the old wafer switch, put in the new digital switch. It is set to 100 degrees. It goes up to 100 degrees, kicks off. When it cools down to 99 degrees, it turns back on. There it is, here's a little click. It kicked back on. My indicator light comes on that it's heating and then the temperature starts to climb back up to a hundred then it shuts off so pretty much punch this in forget about it couldn't be happier uh, so now my big cabinet incubator is back to working at full function again and I can get back to incubating a bunch of eggs anyway as always guys thanks for watching and God bless see you next time